Yes, guys, this resume template makes $2,370 a month. Guys, what a fantastic product it is. And guys, resumes are fantastic. Resumes do make quite a lot of money. It's a fantastic niche, niche to get into. And I'm going to show you exactly how to produce a fantastic resume that you can sell on Etsy right now. So guys, let me just show you this listing very quickly. Look at this listing. It's a simple, minimalistic I guess, professional looking resume, nothing special. It's got the name, it's got the basic uh, information on it, uh, the the different parts of it in terms of the contact summary, expertise. Um, so it's got the, it's, you know, it's nothing special. Um, it's a simple design, but this is making a lot of money, guys. And look, uh, resumes in general are doing quite well on Etsy right so i want to show you exactly how it works guys look even if i go to like res other resumes you know it's not this, just this one in particular lots of other uh, resumes are making really good money now let me just get out of this um and obviously i'm using everbee which is my go-to um seo software and analysis product analysis uh, software which you can see in the link in my description and look others as well look that's 2370 Another one which is $2,091 uh, $2, a month, guys. And I'll show you this one very quickly as well. Again, simple, minimalistic, nothing special. Nothing special at all. It's not got like an amazing design. But this is what it is. It's these kind of minimalist, simple, really clean um, resume designs. That's all it is. And that's all you need to do. But it's about having different ones, different styles, different versions. Because people want an individual looking one. They don't want a generic one. So... This is about creating a listing where you've got something a little bit different than what's out there. Nice, clean CV, resume, but something that will stand out. So I want to show you exactly how to produce something like this. But before I do, guys, if you do like digital products, creating, knowing about new digital products that are coming out and selling digital products, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, guys, um, and you'll get videos in your feed on any new niches coming out. So, guys... Let's uh, let's get into this. So we're looking at resumes and we want to create. So the first thing I would do um, is I'll go to chat GPT and say, what uh, topics, what sections should I include on a resume? What's important? I want to add important because obviously we want to make sure got the important ones right there you go let's click uh, let's see what chat gpt comes out with okay so contact information object uh, resume objective or summary statement which is good look what is nice is it, it verifies exactly look education skills guys i mean you know what we're doing is validating right it's almost like we're validating what we need to include and what's nice is, you know, you can see that, look, contact, um, you can see, look, contact there, you can see summary, career experience, expertise, education, achievement, you know, these are things that even ChatGPT is mentioning. But what we're doing is we're just verifying, validating, making sure we're getting all the important um, sections within the resume, obviously, so that we can appeal to a wider market and sell this product. So, you know, chat GPT have just, you know, we've given us uh, really good, interesting ones. And there's some other ones as well. Awards, honors, references, obviously. Important ones, things that need to be on there. Um, and then also some explanation on these. So that's fantastic. So what we'll do is um, we'll create now a few different ideas what we can do. Now, this is how I would create these. Uh, it's a two-step um, process. So what I would do is I go to my go-to AI software, which really is amazing. And you've seen all my video. If you've seen my videos, you'll see that I love using Midjourney. Produces these fantastic designs, really professional, uh, created by AI. And uh, like, if you don't know about this, then look, sign up and try it out. And you know, it's got it's it's quite affordable as well, I believe. Um, and you know, the quality is is you know it can't be argued with. This quality of mid journey is amazing. Granted, what they have got here on the community showcase is they haven't got really you know resumes designs, but they can produce anything. Mid journey can produce anything. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to just type in, um, for example, um, you know, professional. Now, with Midjourney, if you don't know, it's about um, writing prompts, right? So, for example, when I go forward slash, then you go to imagine, and then it gives you the sort of prompts box where you, you add all the keywords that you want to hopefully produce the resume that you want. So I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna include these words, right? Professional, because obviously I want a professional resume. Professional, clean, minimalistic resume uh, design, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Oops, sorry, didn't spell that correctly. Resume design, right? Click enter and just and just see. With Mid Journey, what you have to do is you have to try different words and different prompt ideas, and then see what comes out. And what you're trying to do is really you're trying to look at maybe like a, a design of something that actually you've seen that works that sells quite well. Obviously, in your own design, your own style, and hopefully, you know that that has a sort of variation of idea. Now, look at this, guys. Look at this. I mean, look, what I like about Mid Journey is it produces what you say. So it does what you say, like clean, minimalistic. Look, that's that's what this is. Okay, look at this, guys. Let me open up in browser. Now um now tell me something if you if you've noticed. Now look at the look at that look at the outline. It's not too dissimilar to you know some of the popular ones or the ones that are selling really well right it's not it's very similar but it's original and it's new and that means you can actually sell it as your original design which is what i love about about you know mid journey and what did it produce it in a few minutes but notice something about mid journey guys which it which it always does and you can see it if you look closely you can see that the 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 sections are there, there there's writing there however what you'll notice is <laughs> it's all gibberish it's all gibberish, guys, and that is the thing about Mid Journey. With the writing, you know, it will produce a fantastic design, but in terms of the writing, it does not give you the right writing. <laughs> Look at that. That's 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 what Mid Journey is. It will give you the idea, give you the design, but in terms of the writing, we're not at the stage with this where it will give you the the writing. The, the the correct writing is pretty much gibberish stuff that's saying. So this is where this is why I say a two part or two step design with this. You can see clearly where the sections are though, right? You can see where the sections are. You got the contact, you got the name here where it would go. And this is where you need to um go in and do something else, guys. Right? So let's say, okay, I like a style. These are four different styles, right? Let's say I like the top left hand corner one. So I'm gonna upscale it. I'm gonna upscale number oops, wrong one. Shame. I wanna upscale number two, because that's the one that I want. I don't want this one. I like number two. Did I upscale it? Yeah, there you go. Right. It's a two step process, right? So open it up in my browser. Obviously, I upscaled it, got a larger version, and I'm gonna just I can save it in my laptop or computer and then i can upload it on canva like i said guys look at all the links in my description i've got all the softwares that you can try out and use and so i'm going to take this from mid journey now and i'm going to go to canva right my go-to kind of design website i love it so i've literally just opened up um a a4 um resume page okay and what i'm going to do in this case is i'm just going to paste this uh, design right that i've just created in um in uh in mid journey right but what i need to do is obviously you know what it does is it's kind of given me a kind of mock-up so i'm going to just trim it down trim it down very quickly right i just need the page i don't need all the, the rest of it they're trying to it's giving me like a mock-up design basically if you were to sell the cv you know, you'd obviously try and make it the best look you can. So you'd have all this stuff around it to sell it. You know, that's what we call mock-ups to sort of um, advertise the product, right? Market it, promote it. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly enlarge the the resume, okay? 
just a bit too big there. Enlarge the resume, okay? It's going to be something like this, a bit too big there. Okay. Right, something like this. Obviously, I can clean it. I can make sure I've got that cleaned out. Okay, so it's gonna be something like this. And then what I'm gonna do is, I need to create the things for it. Now, because I've got the outline, Mid Journey will give you the outline of how it's gonna be. And obviously when you look around and you see these, uh, you know, these ones, you'd want it to be customizable. You want people to be able to, you know, uh, customize it. Because obviously they wanna put their own name on it and their own details. <laughs> they, wanna, they wanna be able to put their own information on it for you, for them to buy it, right? So coming back to Canva, sorry, what I would do is, you know, you would actually create this design on top using Canva. So for example, you might have the heading itself, um, you might create the design itself, uh, and you might have a box here, okay? So you might have a box and you might have uh, Jack, Smith, Jack Smith, let's say, let's say if you're going to have a name, what you will do is you will start building up using Canva the resume, okay? And then you can, you know, obviously because this is original, you would build it up and then put the sections in like I'm doing. Uh, you might even just have a box for where the picture would go. So you might go to elements, you might go to, uh, I don't know, shape, right? So you might be like, this is where the picture would go, photo, because obviously it's customizable, right? So this is where the photo would go. And then once you've created your design, you remove the background, right? You remove what you've got, the mid-journey one, and what you should have is your created template, okay? That's what you would do. And then so what you do is you'd build it up bit by bit. And then obviously, you know, you'd actually be able to share this so that someone could actually customize it using Canva. Um, so that's how you would do it. But Mid Journey would give you the basic principles of the ideas of doing this. Okay. So this is this is a fantastic way of doing it. If you want completely new, completely original designs, right? Now there is another way of doing resumes, right? That which is you can actually do it purely through Canva without Mid Journey. So again, I guess this is AI related, but let's say I'm back on Canva, okay? Um, and I want to create um, some uh, ideas for temp looking at templates, right? Some resumes. So then what you do is obviously you might say resume. Okay, so Canva is fantastic as well, guys. So it can actually do this for you. And what is, I guess, in a sense, um, easier maybe, is that it has the information there, which is not gibberish, which is actually you can read it already. So for example, if I show you now, you can see here are some different types of resumes. I can use this one. And then I can actually literally customize this directly through um, Canva, which is obviously easier. The thing about um, Mid Journey is that it can give you, I guess, some some really new ideas in terms of the design, and then obviously you will create it through Canva. But with this, you know, I I, I think you know this is also pretty fantastic as well. And you know, with here is that you can you have the sections which are ready to customize. So you know, where 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 I had to design something or write a text box on top. You know, I can I can just do it from here. So, and then it will keep the the style of writing as well, the font style. So you've got Jack Smith. There you go. And then all the rest of it will be customized as well. You can you can type in the education in the boxes because the boxes are there for you. And again, what you do is you know you'd obviously share it um, so that it's customizable. Um, you know, make sure that they get a link and they they can the person that buys it can design it themselves. So, you know, and the thing about this is you can always, you know, customize the design anyway. So you can always go to um, elements, you can add add bits to this, change the color, you might wanna put a background color, 
um, you know, like if I just looked at the resume, and you wanted it a kind of, well, you don't want it that dark, but let's say you're giving it a bit of a, a, a hint of gray, you know, um, but, you know, and then you might want to add some boxes to it. So, you know, you might want to add a few elements. So let's say, you know, you've got a box and you want to put a design. Let's just put this little box and make it a thicker box and just customize this slightly. Now, remember, look, it's not about massive changes, but sometimes you just want to do something that allows it to stand out from the competition, right? So it might be instead of that light line, it might be a slightly thicker line um, underneath. So it stands out, you know. And these are the little small details that you add into your design, you know. It's not about major changes. It's about small detail. But guys, like I said, those are two different AI ways, I guess, of producing resumes to sell. And the bonus thing is this, you know, like coming back to mid-journey, the thing about this is what it's also created, actually, funny enough, is it's created mock-ups. So here you've got, um, you've got AI uh, mock-ups. Now, AI mock-ups also can be sold as another thing, as another product, as another digital product. Here already is created four mock-ups. And mock-ups are obviously things that will promote the product. So you could actually sell these as they are and um, and actually, you know, if people wanted to buy these, they could buy it. If they're creating resumes themselves, they could buy these and uh, and promote their own CVs, right? Which is amazing, isn't it? Like there's like a two-in-one kind of thing. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So resume mock-ups. And remember, check out my other videos on, on other mock-ups that I produced using Midjourney. So, you know, there are things like these, um, if I just show you, you know, these are mock-ups, right? And I've done videos on it. There's mug mock-ups, frame mock-ups, um, uh, letter mock-ups. There's mock-ups for everything, guys, right? So even also with people that want to be able to promote their, you know, templates or sorry, their resumes. Look at this. Look at this resume here um you know this is the resume like with every resume like when you click when you click on the resume right they will promote it look at the background see they put it on a wooden table with a pen next to it that's a mock-up for this for this particular um resume so this would promote it this would help sell it and so this is what you could sell you could actually sell mock-ups for resumes so not only can you create the resume you can create a mock-up for the resume using mid-journey isn't that amazing guys so yeah there you go. That's how to do it using Midjourney and Canva. You can create and sell resumes and you can earn that fantastic passive income of making upwards of $2,000, say, dollars for each listing. Imagine you've got 10 listings and each one is $2,000. That'll be $20,000 of revenue a month, which is absolutely amazing for doing something that can be produced in a few minutes. Um, obviously, if you're doing it Midjourney style and taking it into Canva, it takes a little bit longer. If you're doing it through Canva, it won't take that long. And then obviously you make sure that you've got the right sections using chat GPT to make sure that you've got something that people actually want to buy. So guys, if you did like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Don't forget to check out all my other videos and my playlist. Don't forget also to check out all the links in my description for everything that I like to use, all my favorite tools and so on. Guys, take care. See you on the next one.